and um, I guess they have a, a mine visit on uh, on June first. That uh, I'm gonna try to see if I can uh, if I can make. Um, I've been meaning to get out there, and it's just hasn't hasn't really been something I've been able to to get put together. But I guess this is an official one that uh, will coin, coincide with uh, with sort of the, some of the startup startup activities there. Um, I mean, they've already been. I guess they've already poured some silver. But they had some uh, dory slag uh, at the booth that they actually produced. They put through the mill or the plant rather. And um, that's this is from a surface, uh, basically, waste pile or something from the historic mining, and just you know just to get the process moving. But I think they've said that they're now stockpiling material, at least development material, and it's going to go through. And I'm presuming the plan for June first is that they'll be in. People will be able to see the full operation, sort of uh, in terms of um, some mining activity. So they have they have some things that they are comically calling bad news. Uh, one, uh, I mean, both of these have the implication of potential upside to the production scenario, resource size perhaps as well. This one is, I guess, they were putting in the exploration or not the but rather the development uh, drift along the edge of the ore body, and uh, sounds like what they're what they're actually going to be doing in the early phase of the mine life is not room and pillar mining, which is basically going through the deposit, leaving these pillars in place to support the, the, the ceiling of the mine, and basically moving through the ore body. Um, the, the reason they're not going to do that at the beginning is because there's a dip to it, and it's more than 15%, so the, the, the tire, the wheeled mining equipment cannot, is not allowed to operate at grades above a certain percentage slope. Um, so what they're actually going to end up doing is uh, coming in underneath, as I understand it, and essentially removing the material from the roof. So they'll, they're creating space underneath the ore body in this early part of the mine life where there's a deeper slope to it, a steeper slope, and then coming in and, and, and taking it off the ceilings. Anyway, so as they were going in and trying to develop these initial headings to go into the ore body, they discovered that apparently the mineralization is wider. I don't remember what it was, 100 feet or some some significant extent wider um, than than it's modeled and that had been drilled. So they actually took the time to try to preserve that area because if they had gone put the development right through it, um, it'd be obviously impossible to come in underneath it and take it out. So they what they did is they took another I don't know, I think it was a couple of months to actually go around. Uh, this this additional area along the side, so that took them some more time, uh, but that's I guess a good problem. And then I guess there was as they're going along, they're also doing some further uh, um, development drilling in order to do early mine life ore control to see you know what the grade of material that they expect to put through the plant during you know whatever June July. And they, you know, they, they're hitting some interesting things in there. I guess there's some gold. What, what did, uh, what did they say? That they found some. Uh, what was it saying? Did you hear that? Uh, what Gary was saying about that? David? Contaminated with gold? Yeah, right. Like contamination. That's what I was talking about. <laughs> so Lenick, I guess, is. Uh, and again, this kind of comically saying it's uh, the mine's contaminated. We found. But uh, the the good news about that is it's the, well he's talking about gold, so basically there's either some kind of scarring or some other type of uh, um, a system there next to the silver dominant and maybe it's related to it. But uh, that's one of the things that they want to see is how significant uh, an amount of gold there might be. I mean it could be a complete anomaly or there could be something pretty significant. Um, in terms of the exploration, what they've always, I mean, what they've done is historically the resource generally has been known. So what they've done is they haven't done a lot more than to drill out this one structure, which you know dips and is so wide and so long, and they haven't really put too many drill holes outside of that area. And obviously they've now found that in some parts it's actually wider, and and then also you know maybe there's some other things in there as well, uh, like gold. I mean who knows at least. You know, these systems can have uh, some base metal things like that as well in there. So, 
Um, anyway, so I think that's all potentially pretty good news. Um, but if I can make it up uh, June 1st, I'll have much more details on this. I've talked about, you know, in terms of us really keying in on, on hey, is this the right time to own Arcana? I really want to understand how robustly and well they designed their early mine plan because with underground mines, it they're complicated enough that it can take up to several years, as we've seen with many other companies, to figure out exactly the right mix of development rate, number of stopes or open faces that they're mining from. Each face will have to typically have a mining crew associated with it, so there's more expense. On the, you know, on the cost side with having more faces, but that's where you get the ore from, so there has to be enough to feed the mill or there you have, or you have kind of a, an issue. There could also be a bottleneck that needs to be worked out uh, someplace along getting the ore from the face into the plant, and until you actually ha are running at near capacity, you may not realize what those bottlenecks are. I mean, Great Basin, they're jumping ahead a little bit. We talked to them as well. And uh, they just seem to have, keep, keep having problems. One of the things with their mine in, at Burnstone and out in South Africa was apparently that um, at the bottom of the chute where they're feeding ore into the chipper to bring it to surface, they didn't plan for the fact that not all the ore falls in the bin, and they had left basically a void underneath that was inaccessible. So as material fell out and it filled up that area underneath it, and eventually they couldn't lower the bin enough to... To, for, for, the, for the ore to drop out of the chute into the bin. So they have to actually bring in a tunnel or a drift level with the bottom of this ore pass so that they could periodically remove all the material that kind of fell to the side so the bins can come all the way down. It seems like a minor thing and probably should have been in the initial design, but those are, those are the kind of things that could happen with, with, with mines, and maybe that was a more of a sloppy example, but I think similar things will show up in most underground mines. But I think it just has to be expected that that will happen. So, you know, you, you wouldn't, you shouldn't, I mean, if you have gangbuster results right out of the gate in a mine, it, it, it can happen. I mean, due to gold resource, Goro's credit, uh, they spent, I think, quite a bit of time sequencing that so that knowing that there's going to be issues and basically having designed it and set it up in such a way that it's basically... Um, flexible enough to be able to, 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 to deal with that. For example, stockpiling large amounts of material before you declare commercial production. So if you do have a bottleneck, your, your mill is not going to be starved for feed. Um, seems pretty simple, but when people are rushed to get to declare commercial production because they promised to market something, then that can create issues. Do you have anything else, Narcana? I think, I think that was more than I more than I would have. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But, uh, but yeah, so I, I, th I think now, you know, I, this is, if I don't make it out to the mine, it'll have to be like, okay, what, what, what you know, what, what else will we need to see to kind of say, hey, you know, this is, you know, this is the time to own. I mean, a lot of the time, you know. Uh, well, I think that, I mean, it, part of the, what's been holding us back, I mean, the share price has just been so strong for so long, and it's hard to, you know, get too excited. Well, I want to... It's trading at a buck, and everyone else is off 50%. So it's come off a bit now, and there do seem to be plans to list on a higher exchange, and maybe with a reverse split. So I yeah, that that I think would obviously be a, a you know um, uh, an interesting angle in, into it as well. But I think we have to also keep in mind that if and this is what interests me is if they can pull this off, you know, get into development and production without a hitch. I mean, there's significant potential upside, and actually, you could have premium. Right? It's probably still trading at a this. What the, what, you know, if you look at the feasibility or whatever, you know, scoping or whatever they did. Um, I mean, if you look at Goro as the example, that that one, you know, it had some minor glitches, but but for the most part, it, it you know, they were able to show cash flow uh, pretty, you know, right off the bat. If they can do that, I think you know that's that that's uh, that's an impetus so potentially, but yeah, I mean, I mean, obviously the, the strength in the share price, but I think that's, that, that's reflective of the fact that you, it, mines go into production, that's the, that's, and that's the portion of their life cycle that they go from undervalued to, to, you know, to getting fair value or maybe even premium valuation. So, question is, are they there? I mean, I guess we could put it back through the model and see where it compares. I would guess that 
it probably still is cheaper than than most peers. So then if they prove that they can actually do what they've said, then you should expect it to basically trade at the same level, which would be upside relative to the others. But I, I, I guess that's what we should we should probably do that and and, and connection maybe with my mind visit.